Hi guys, it's Carlos at the Carlos Method. Today we're doing a PHA training workout. PHA stands for Peripheral Heart Action Training. It's a method of circuit training where you're alternating upper body and lower body exercises throughout in continuous fashion. I get thoroughly, thoroughly warmed up. I'd say use six to 12 kilogram weights and let's get started. Okay guys, we've got about 15 seconds. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We're posting workouts every Monday and Thursday. This is a PHA workout. Uh, we're going alternating upper and lower body exercises. We're gonna start with dumbbell squats. Shoulders back and down, feet shoulder width apart, nice and tall. And we're sitting back and down into this. Imagine you're sitting back into a low chair, standing up tall. Make sure you're driving through your heels. The weights I've got here are nine kilograms, roughly. You can obviously go heavier. PHA training is actually quite a tough way to train, so like I said, you're always alternating lower body, upper body exercises back to back. Minimal rest. I've got 15 second rest periods in here for today, uh, 60 second work periods. So we're going with dumbbell squats first, working the quads, hamstrings, glutes, torso, and then we're going to switch to uh, what is the next exercise? I think it's bent over rows, I think, don't quote me on that. It's going to, it's going to flash up in front of me in a minute. Doing shooting lots of workouts today, so. So the third workout of the, of the day today. So, it's your dumbbell squats, sitting back and down onto a low chair. Make sure your back's in a good position. I'll show you side on guys, okay? We're here, yeah. So dumbbell squat, we'll have a 15 second rest period in five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Yeah, it's bent over rows in 13 seconds. Take some deep breaths. If I ever forget, my sister's always got the flashcards coming up on the screen, you always know what's up next. So, feet hip width apart, hinge over 60 degree angle, and you're gonna row into your body, okay? So 60 degree lean. Focus on your breathing here. Arms at 90 degrees. Yeah, as, I, as people know on my channel, I've got ADHD, so sometimes the odd thing I might just briefly forget. Uh, but obviously I've, we've obviously planned it and organised everything behind the scenes. It's all on the all on my app in front of me. So sometimes from memory, I can't always trust my, my memory at times. Okay, so chest is up, abs are tight, sit the weight into the hips, get the chin tucked down. 25 seconds here. And we've got press ups coming out after. Ten seconds, guys. Weights in the hips. Okay. Press ups. It is okay. Let's get these weights down on the floor. All right, guys. So hands shoulder width apart. Legs straight. Keep a core tight. Squeeze your glutes. Okay. A minute of press ups. All the way down, all the way up. Get a good tension on the chest. Squeeze your glutes and your abs. Protect the back. Yeah, so PHA training is great for muscle endurance, great for a, big, a good fat burn, um, just general conditioning. Obviously, you're not going to get mega strong doing PHA workouts because it's not like regular strength training and not deadlift and squatting huge amounts of weight, but it's good for. Yeah, it's a more it's a advanced circuit training technique. So it will tax your body. It's time efficient. You can get lots of work done in a short amount of time. And like I said, you're working a little bit aerobically when you're working at a fast pace. You can disperse it with some cardio intervals, which we will do on another video once my calf strain is healed. But for today, we're just doing upper body, lower body weights. You can disperse it with some cardio work as well. This is a variation on it. Okay. Dumbbell RDLs, grab your dumbbells guys. Yeah, that's why you'll see me kick up gingerly off the floor. Uh, I was playing football just uh, a week ago, I got strained. Okay, stay really tall, shoulders back, feet hip width. Now hinging from the hips, so bottom out, aim the bottom to the back wall, stand up tall, drive through your glutes. So slight bend in the knees, 20 degree, 20 degree bend. So your dumbbell RDL, so Romanian deadlifts. Just work the range you're comfortable in guys, okay? I'm going down to about mid chin. If I go any lower, it's going to pull up my lower back. Everyone's got different ranges of motion. I'm still a bit tight on my hands, so I'm throat rolling them a lot. Just be careful. What you don't want to do is round your back and put pressure on that lumbar region. So keep the back nice and long, chest is up always. You're using your glutes to come up, okay? 
hinging over the hips, 20 degree bend on the knees, find the range of your comfort. So you don't want to feel compromised through your lumbar spine. Just make sure it, you've got a nice stretch on the hamstrings and you're driving nice and smoothly, safely through the glutes up to a standing position. And rest. Okay, dumbbell alternating shoulder presses. I take some deep breaths here. Shoulders are always my weakest point. I always find it hard overhead. Overhead, well, I was doing a bit of overhead work yesterday in the gym actually. It wasn't a good idea. Okay, here we go, alternating. Let's go. So coming up, lock your rib cage down, brace your tummy, squeeze your glutes. It's your dumbbell alternating shoulder press. Now you can turn them out wide if you want. I know it sounds like I've got a million injured, but I, I, I've got them in closer because I'm getting my shoulder work on my right shoulder at the moment. So I prefer it on this inner grip. Obviously it's going to be a bit more tricep and a bit more uh, front deltoid. Uh, but some, you can go out there if you want to. I, I just can't get to that range at this point in time. <laughs> do you know what it is? I, I just do a lot of training, a lot. I train like six days a week, but sometimes 10 sessions in the week. Sometimes I train twice in a day. And I play football, I like my boxing fitness. Obviously I like hitting the weights four or five times a week. So obviously when you're using your body, like you pick up just little strains and, and niggles and so I'm often visiting the physio or the osteo or getting a deep tissue massage. All right, so fully extend the arm. Breathe out as you come up. And rest. Back to the dumbbell squats. Okay, take some deep breaths. So uh, like I said, once you've done this workout once through, adjust the weights, go heavier um, if necessary. Three seconds, dumbbell squats, back to first exercise. Here we go, back and down through the hips, standing up tall. So, this is round two, we've got four rounds of this peripheral heart action workout. Okay, sit back and down, standing up tall. Squeeze the glutes, guys. I'm going to show you side on. It's a nice side, I'm a bit bendy in my back, but I actually feel fine. Quite uh, arch my lower back sometimes, but I'm working on it. I just want you to sit back and down through your hips. Keep your chest up. Okay, now work from the front position, what I don't want to see is the knees collapsing in, the ankle and the foot rolling in, okay? So, if you just, if stand in front of a mirror, and make sure there's a good symmetry through your body as you're squatting. It's very important you've got the movement, you know, a clean movement pattern before you start loading with really heavy weights. So if it's not a clean movement, even go body weight to start with when you're on your own, on your own practicing the movement. Because if it's, if it's not good, if your knees are collapsing in, your hips are shifting to one side, you're twisted, it's going to do more harm than good. Dumbbell bent over rows, okay. Oh, let's take some deep breaths here. Then we're going to go down. So the rest periods are short, you can take them down to 10 seconds, even five potentially, but obviously you're going to sacrifice a bit of weight possibly. All right, leaning over, hinging over. But you want relatively short rest periods. I think anything from five, 10 seconds up to 15, 20 seconds is okay. Obviously it depends, like I said, on the weight you're lifting, the weight, you know, the amount of time you're working for, the work periods. So my second in the series of my PHA workouts. I've done one before, we did one before me and my sister. Uh, really fun workout, that's when I think I was doing cleans and snatches and other stuff. Obviously it's a bit more static and stuff, still very effective, all compound movements. But we'll be putting another one of these in soon as well. Okay. Dumbbell rows, so fully extend the elbow behind the line of the body, arms at a right angle, chest up. I'm going to pick nine kilograms. You know what? I go heavy in the gym, but when you're doing this kind of workout, you can't use a lot of weight. That's why it's good for endurance. Press ups. Okay. Press up position, guys. <laughs> okay, keep the core tight. Okay, let's go. So, all the way down, I was worried that weight was going to roll away. Okay, so press ups, one minute. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs. If you haven't seen it yet on my channel, check out my press up challenge. We did the Royal Marines, one small part of the Royal Marines fitness test. And it was uh, 60, uh, well, it was press ups to the beat. I managed to get 60 in. Well, I managed to finish at 60, which is the, when the beat finishes. So I managed to complete that one. The other one is a running challenge, which is very tough. Uh, it's one and a half mile run, 2% incline in under 10 minutes. 
This is the second part of the running test. The first part is you, you do that, but in under 12 and a half, which is a lot easier. Okay, so press ups all the way down, chest to the floor, all the way up. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs. Uh. <laughs> stretch. I'm just going to do a child's pose there. My back locks up so it says, okay, RDLs. Grab the weights. Nice and tall. Feet hip width apart. You're going to hinge from the hips. Keep the shoulders back and down. Keep your core tight. You're going to hinge you over, driving smoothly through the glutes. Make sure you're not holding your lower back. This is more of an advanced motion than stiff legged deadlift RDLs, so make sure you've done some glute activation work, if you haven't done it in the past, and some core stability work. Just to have some core strength there and awareness of your core muscles. Uh, and just you can brace and support your torso as you're doing this hinging movement. You don't want to go straight into this if you've kind of never exercised before in your life and you've got no idea how to do it safely because um, you just need a bit of practice on this. So if, you, if you're unsure, pause the video if you need to, practice with a light weight, you know, just make sure you're comfortable with the movement. You shouldn't feel any pressure on the lower back. Okay, alternating arms, shoulder press. So. <laughs> These are quite tough for shoulder pressing, but in a circuit, we go, okay, a little noise on the shoulders, brace your tummy. I don't want to see your rib cage moving around. So lock the rib cage down, lock your torso. Let's go one at a time. Just breathing out as you press. So a minute here, guys. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes. Fully extend the arm, lengthen out overhead. Throw away for time, 20 seconds. Focus on your breathing, guys. That's part of that raises the heart rate. Third round, okay, third round. So we've got, we're halfway through, it's so a halfway mark. So let's put the work in here now. Back to the dumbbell squats. Nice and tall, chest up. So you can back and down through the hips. Going back to a lower body exercise now. So we've gone up, up to lower, up and to lower throughout the session. And I did three round, four rounds of the same exercises because you get more and more used to it, more and more efficient at the movement. The muscles are fired up, they know what they're doing in the movement pattern. And sometimes it's good to just stick to a few core exercises and really work them, get the work done safely, effectively, uh, rather than always too much changing the stimulus too much. Sometimes in some sessions, fine if you're advanced and you know exactly what we're doing, but sometimes changing up the exercise too often, too frequently, isn't always a good idea. I mean, I often do it, but then I've been training for many years. I do it with a lot of my clients back in North London. But it's a lot of training experience, you know, so they're, they're very aware of their movements, what they're doing, so. But sometimes it's good. I mean, I sometimes pick two or three exercises and really work them for a good hour or so. You know, heavy in the gym, heavy weight. All right, so dumbbell squats, third round. And rest. Okay, dumbbell bent over rows. Okay. Deep breaths again. Feet hip width apart. Slight bend the knee, hinge at the hips. Three, two, and in we go. 11 minutes left guys, 11 minutes on the clock, I'm just looking down and seeing it. So, tight grip on the weight, pulling that arm back behind the line of the body, chest is up. Lock your rib cage down, I'm bracing my tummy here. Pulling back on these weights. Just 
25 seconds. Breathe as you pull the weight in. So yeah, cumulative fatigue catches up with you. Third round. Yeah, so what I say, the cumulative fatigue, you start off as like this, you know, feels okay at the start, and obviously the tension builds and the fatigue builds within the tissue, it gets harder. Press ups, let's go. Core tight, squishy glutes. Third round of press ups. I want control, guys. Control over the movement, form and technique over everything else. Squeeze your glutes and your abs really tightly. Protect your spine and push through your chest. Get a good stretch all the way down and push up. Try to touch your nose to the floor, to the mat. Just brace everything. Because what I often see on press ups is the back arches where people are like, you know, not in the right line. You need to be coming down a straight line. You need to have your core in switched on, your glutes. Often I put a sway in the back and arching. Whew. Dumbo RDLs, here we go again guys. Be careful of my calf here. My sister said I'm the most injured PT she knows. Alright, so nice and tall. Feet hip width apart. Hinge over the hips, and you drive it up smoothly, yeah? I really like doing these in the gym when I'm heavier with the dumbbells. It's a nice motion. I like doing it with the bar as well, the barbell. I'm quite fond of doing it with the dumbbells. And like I said, to give you an example, um, when I'm in the gym, I'm doing heavier strength training. Just to give you the illustration, the example of what I'm trying to say, is I might do in the gym, I might do these on 20 to 24 kilograms, uh, whereas now I've got my 9, 10, and they're working me a bit, you know? I know I'm talking, I'm coaching, I've got to talk as well, but just to show the difference, that when you're doing a workout like PHA, obviously your weights are gonna be compromised, is what I'm trying to say. So the, the weights you would typically do strength training, lifting heavy, uh, and obviously probably you'd, you'd pick one exercise in the gym, do a set, rest a couple of minutes, do a set, rest a couple of minutes, do four or five sets, and then move on to the next exercise. Whereas with this one, you're alternating between different exercises. Okay, alternating shoulder press. Okay, so last exercise of the third round, okay? All right, we good, back? Yeah, nice right, gone. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, and let's go. So you press up and down. Press up and down. The lighting's got a bit on our, on our camera tripod, I think, but um, I think we're still good. It's pretty bright in the day. I think we're like four o'clock in the afternoon, UK time, so. I'm sure it's not going to affect our video footage, but if you do see the screen a slightly changed shade, it's just uh, our, our camera light that was on has suddenly gone off. Technical, technical issue there, so no big deal. So we're going to go core tight, abs tight. You're going to press up fully overhead. Breathe as you press up. It's important you breathe as you press up so your blood pressure doesn't go through the roof. Let's breathe the pressure out. 20 seconds. Ten. My left shoulder always gives up. Whew. Final round, guys. Final round. This is it. This is the last round. So we go back to squats. Whew. So some deep breaths. Feet shoulder to hip width, toes out slightly, and here we go. I can really feel this nicely. The full set. My hamstrings, my quads, glutes, they've all been working and they feel nice and warm. It definitely feels like a better set I'm doing now on the fourth set compared to the first. And you'll probably notice that guys when you're in the gym, guys and girls when you're in the gym. So often you're, 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 you know, your working sets, third or fourth, fifth set in are your best sets because you're, you're fully warmed up, you're fully engaged in the movement pattern. You've been doing it a few sets before and everything's fired up in the movement. 
Now obviously if I was doing, just to reiterate, if I was doing this as a um, full on hardcore PHA, I'd obviously I'd bump up the weight, I won't be chatting at all. But if you want to do it on your own, obviously you haven't got to talk on the other side of the camera, or you're on this, in your living room or wherever you are, you can really, really go for this. As I'm chatting away, you can really go for this and uh, make your weights really heavy. So you're really pushing yourself to the max on every round. I've obviously got to hold back a bit, otherwise, I won't be able to talk and coach anyone. I want to make sure you're doing it safely and effectively. Dumbbell bent over rows. Okay. Some of you guys, once you've got the movement, you'll probably want to mute me, I guess. Okay, bent over rows, leaning over. Okay, pulling up, which is fine too, once you know what you're doing. Okay, so pulling back, so chest up, core tight. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this workout so far. It's a, it's a nice change up to what people regularly do sometimes. Alternating the upper and lower. And do check out my other workouts on the channel. We've, we're building more and more workouts on the channel now. Every Monday and Thursday we put them out, my, me and my sister. She's on the background editing them and filming them, doing all that behind the scenes stuff. I'm obviously planning out the workouts and executing them on here. 20 seconds here. Last 10. Five. Okay. Okay. Press ups. This is the fourth final set. Rest those down. All right. Press up position, guys. Okay, I'm just worried that the weight's going to roll. Sorry, guys. Straight in here. Then we're in a cardboard and it's on a bit of a slide. The uh, Hey, but I just wanted to roll. Last time it rolled all the way down across the other side of the car park, which wasn't great. Luckily, it was just in rehearsal. And luckily, a car or anyone or a cat wasn't out there. All right, so press ups up and down, core tight, squeeze your glutes, lock everything in. Let's get these press ups done. Final set of these. Obviously, you can be going faster. I like to go at a steady tempo. You can go a little bit quicker than me, more dynamic, it's fine. Ten seconds. Fourth dumbbell RDLs. Whew. Okay, standing up tall, shoulders back, feet hip width apart. Okay, here we go. Final set here, guys, smooth. Two, two minutes left. So hinging over the hips, slight bend in the knee, 20 degree bend, aiming the bum towards the back wall, getting a nice active stretch through the hamstrings, driving through the glutes and through the hamstrings on the way up, keeping your core tight, shoulders back, just a smooth drive, don't jerk it, don't jolt it, just control, get that glute contraction at the top, or you really squeeze your right but left butt cheek, squeeze it firmly. I just trying to crack a nut in between your cheeks, crack a walnut or something. <laughs> All right, five, five seconds left. Okay, three, two, I rest, guys. <laughs> this is making funny face. I don't know what that came out actually. Okay, here we go. So here's the shoulder presses. Ten seconds. This is the last exercise of the last round. Your fourth and final round. I've heard that somewhere. Well, I've heard that before. All right, so here we go. Alternating arms. Let's move on from that. Alright, okay. Core tight, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs. No movement of your rib cage. Alright, so alternating arm, fully extend the arm at the top. No, thanks a lot for following along guys. It's been, been good to have you on the channel and following along in this workout. I do appreciate your building all the time, growing all the time. Um, 
really kicked it up since the lockdown period. Um, so it's been going from strength to strength since then. We've had people commenting different parts of the world, giving us some nice feedback and comments, which has been really nice, really positive. So yeah, we're building all the time, so hopefully you can support us and follow along and try some of the workouts on the channel. Oh, I'm gonna keep breathing now. Deep breath. Six seconds. Oh, Whew. fantastic work guys, fantastic work. Thanks a lot for following along. That was your PHA uh, workout circuit. A uh, very tough uh, session. Obviously, go through it um, once over. Once you've got the hang of it, you know the, you obviously know the rest period, the rest period uh, and the work period, then, um, I don't know, Elmer Fudden, rest periods and work periods. Uh, rest, <laughs> I just sound like Elmer Fudden, didn't I? Um, hunting rabbits. So uh, yeah, so if work, once you know your rest periods and your work periods, uh, then obviously you can up the weights, uh, go a bit, a bit heavier on the weights, uh, and make sure you're pushing yourself into the max. Into the max. But just you know, get used to it first, get get accustomed to it, and then gradually, gradually you can load it and progress it. Um, thanks a lot for following along, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for taking part, and I'll see you uh, uh, next workout. I'm going to hunt some wabbits. <laughs>